good, y'all? It's your girl, Smile. Welcome or welcome back. How y'all doing? Well, so in today's video, I'm going to do a real super duper quick get ready with me. It is Christmas Eve. Yeah. And, um... Right now, I'm just waiting on my auntie to come get me. We celebrating Christmas today on my daddy's side. So, yeah. I Y'all, I did not want to do my hair today. I did not. Like, I've been banging on doing my hair for the past two, three days. And I just decided to up and do it last minute because I know that it's not like me to just not do my hair. It's not like me to just be looking raggedy. And I've been through enough of looking raggedy because I had to. And now I don't have to. So, I was like, girl, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. But y'all, I have not been in the holiday spirits. I hope y'all have been in the holiday spirits more than I have. Because it just has not been given Christmas. Ooh, my ears. It has not been given Christmas. Like, we don't even have our Christmas tree up. From the looks of it, we not putting our Christmas tree up. Y'all look and no baby hairs. I might not do baby hairs. I don't know. I'm gonna do my side, like my sideburns for sure. I don't know. I don't feel like I need baby hairs. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to do like a quick life update because I have recorded stuff on my camera, but my laptop. My laptop moves extra, extra slow, so I can't edit on my laptop. So I do have, it's like two videos on my uh, 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 camera that need to be edited and stuff. But I'll just have to do that whenever I get a laptop. Yeah, so quick little update, I guess. I ended up moving back home to Louisiana. So this is where I'm at now. But it won't be long. It won't be long at all. I promise you that. I don't necessarily have a like time frame of how long I'm going to be here or at least in this house. I don't have a specific time frame on it. But the first order of business is purchasing another vehicle, which is coming real soon. Like I'm recording this video on Christmas Eve. I know it's not going to be up <laughs> no time soon knowing me, honestly. It'll probably, well, I'm lying. I'm going to make myself do it. I'm going to make myself go ahead and edit it. I still have to edit the video of me installing this wig, which I did, I first did on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and now it's Christmas. And I'm just, I'm just now uploading me coloring the video. I think I did that last week. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, I have been back home for about a month now. I think I moved like right before Thanksgiving. It was like a week before Thanksgiving. So yeah, I've been here for about a whole month. And for the most part, it's cool. Like I've already found another job. It's a simple job. And it don't pay as much. But it was the first job that reached back out to me. So I took it, but I'm really just trying to get another car. Once I get another car, I'm more than likely still keep that job, but I'm going to get another job also. There has been a lot on my mind though that I have been wanting to do. Like I've been thinking about starting back doing nails and stuff, but honestly my thing with nails is I just don't feel like I'm going to get the same support that I got when I first started but I don't know who knows maybe that's just my own fear of talking or maybe that's just like me not want to do it because I've moved back and I feel like I failed or whatever um even though like that's really not the case I know everything happens for a reason and there's a lot going on in my family right now that I'm not gonna speak about but I feel like I need to come back for multiple reasons outside of like my own issues of what I'm dealing with. I just feel like, I feel like 
I, I had to come back, especially after like moving back and seeing what's and seeing what's been going on. It's like, yeah. But at the end of the day, like I still have to put me first. Like I definitely have to get another car, which it is what it is. But I know everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen in due timing. But I do think I'm going to get a car before the new year is up because that is the best time to get a car. Like during the end of the year, because dealerships are trying to hit their end of year incentives and stuff like that. They trying to get cars off the lot. So they'll negotiate with you more. And I've been doing my research on stuff. But I'm not going to get like nothing brand new. I'm definitely going to be living way below my means. But honestly, I don't. And that don't faze me, honestly. Like materialistic stuff. Materialistic stuff don't make you blessed. Materialistic stuff don't make or break you, honestly. I feel like the most. The people that have the most in life are the people that's the most humble in life. Like, you don't need the nicest car. You don't have to have the nicest house or whatever. But I also feel like a lot of that comes from trauma growing up. Like, people that grew up not having nothing, they want to have the best of the best because they grew up not having anything. And honestly, I've seen... Let me get ready to... I, feel, I will stop getting ready and be talking the whole time, but... I've seen both sides of the fence. When I first grew up, I was I started my life like in the hood. I guess you could call it the hood. Like I can't explain it. It was it was the hood, y'all. <laughs> but it it wasn't directly the hood. But um by the time I got to high school, we had moved to like the suburbs. So I kind of got a feel for for what it's like to be in both areas i've seen both sides of the fence and to be honest i've been watching a lot of like um rich people talk about how they get rich and stay rich and keep their money and stuff like that and honestly it's all about living below your means like just because you can don't mean you should and that's where being humble comes in at Cause a lot of people want the best of the best to prove to other people that they got money but in reality you spending all your money on to keep yourself living the way you're living and that's no way to live in my opinion like if that's what you want to do then that's what you want to do but i'd rather keep my money in my account and if i could drive a little hoopty or whatever as long as it gets me from point a to point b and i'm not paying five six seven eight hundred dollars a month just for a vehicle not even for the roof over my head this is just a vehicle i will do that because what that's more money in my pocket and not in bills you feel me so yeah that's really where i've been at in life like trying to figure out what are my next steps going to be how am i going to move from this point on and honestly i've had a lot of motivation coming back home i've had a lot of motivation coming back home so it's like i'm not worried about anything because at the end of the day god got me baby god is in control of everything and i've been praying to god a lot to you know reveal the people that are not for me reveal those that's not for me remove reveal and release has been my prayers recently and that's exactly what's been happening and i'm not mad at it at all because honestly some of the people that's been removed and released i've always known they were not <laughs> for me um through previous situations or through previous things that God has shown me through dream and stuff like that. A lot of people I've already known were not for me. And this was just like another, another confirmation. And I feel like God is like, girl, how many confirmations do you need that these people are not for you? But it's like, a lot of times it's people that you don't want to let go of because it really be family a lot of times. A lot of it be family, but it's like. 
let them go, baby. And letting go has actually kind of been hard for me because I am such a loving person. I am such, I am who I am, basically. I'm just going to leave it that way. I am who I am. And I don't like drama. I don't like confrontation. I don't like, like, no. I don't have time for that. I'd rather walk this this world alone than to be somewhere where I'm not wanted or welcomed or to fake it. Like, I'm not going to fake nothing with nobody. And that's, that's one thing about me. <laughs> that's one thing about me. I'd be quick to, like, cut people off or just to stop fucking with people. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's like... I don't know. That's how I get through life. I feel like you can't move forward in life if you got people that don't see the best in you or you got people that look down on you or feel like that you're not worthy or just people that don't want you doing better than them. And I'm not saying those are the problems that I'm having technically. Like, but you never know what people think or feel about you until you get, get in certain situations and they reveal how they really feel. I want this hair to dry because I'm wearing gray and it's a dark gray. I think this is a pajama set. I really don't know, but I really don't care because I'm gonna wear it anyway. Ooh. Y'all, I didn't happen to take my piercings out because of the job I work, but why I lost one of my balls to my septum. That sucks. It looks so crazy. I guess it just it looks crazy up close. I can't find the hole, <laughs> but y'all, yeah, but I can't wear my piercings at my job because I work in a bakery. I'm not going to say what bakery I work in. I feel like it's a very popular place. Like a lot of people go there. A lot of people with money go there, honestly, but I'm a baker, so it's understandable because, you know, even though I know that they're not going to fall out. I know they're not gonna fall out there, but they're just being cautious or whatever. Yo, this looks so crazy. I might not wear my symptom, even though I want to. Or I could take the other ball out, question mark. I don't know. That's crazy, y'all. No baby hairs, period. Gotta make sure my Annie ain't text me. I don't know how far she is. That's why I'm trying to go ahead and do everything I need to do and get it done. So she not waiting on me. Like that's one thing about me. If I'm riding with somebody, I'd rather I'd rather wait on them than them waiting on me. Because I know when I be picking up people, I hate having to wait because motherfucker nine times out of ten I told you I was on the way. So why was why wasn't you ready when I got here so we could just go? So yeah, that'd be my thing. Like don't do that shit. <laughs> And if you are one of those people, please do better because I'm impatient. Honestly, I'm impatient and I hate having to wait on people, especially when they are pre-planned plans. Like this ain't nothing last minute. Like motherfucker, you been do about this? So why haven't you, why wasn't you already ready when I got here? Okay. I gotta make sure I clean my mess and everything. Cause my fingers are red, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, I think I like, I think I'm wearing it like this, honestly. Yeah, let these bitches know who's in this shit up. Yeah. I could pluck it. I know, I know, I know I could pluck the wig. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this every time. I am scared to pluck my wigs. Bitch, y'all ain't paying for my wigs. So until y'all pay for my wigs, I will pluck them proudly. And if I fuck up, I'm sorry. But right now, I ain't plucking shit. <laughs> I kind of want to get my nose re-pierced like on the side, maybe just one, you know, but I don't know. I don't want to at the same time. I don't want to because of my job, but it be people with piercings in their noses and stuff, but, or different ear piercings, but it's not, they not doing what I'm doing. Like I'm actually mixing in the batter from, from the start. Other people, they like doing the frosting and stuff like that i might be telling too much i don't know <laughs> but yeah like i'm actually like the start of it so if i drop a piercing 
or something in the batter and it get cooked it gets cooked into the food we definitely could get in trouble for that <laughs> and then i'm gonna want be the one to get fired because i'm the one that made the food but one thing I, I am gonna say though it is part time but it's busy right now because it's christmas um so we've been working every day we've been having one day off but i know once it slows back down they get back to their normal schedule we're only going to be well i'm only going to be working i don't know about everybody else i'm only going to be working like two or three days out the week um really whenever they need us but um yeah it's not going to be monday through saturday so yeah i'm definitely gonna find a job but i am gonna get another car by the end of this year i'm getting a car by the end of this year so i can stop paying for fucking uber okay um so yeah and i feel like the next time i get paid will be perfect timing also so i'm excited i found a whole bunch of cars um i'm gonna see if i can do it without putting down a down payment y'all because you do not have to put down a down payment those people really be fucking y'all out of y'all money but yeah i've been watching youtube videos on how to negotiate um i found different websites to look on um to like um to compare prices like the back cars of the same value and stuff um to compare like i'm doing my research so when i when it's time to go in i got all my facts in line i got all my ducks in a row and they not finna hit me over the head with the crazy price just so they can try to get a profit off of it like y'all not finna profit off of me not not what y'all think y'all gonna profit and it's gonna be an old little hoopty car like and i'm okay with that if i do end up being able to get into something better that's still like at a at the same price like that's perfectly fine with me but as of now i got my eyes on this cool little hoopty <laughs> that i'm perfectly okay with it'll be like fifty dollars a month fifty dollars a month on a car note so i know the insurance ain't gonna be nothing crazy so that's my money in my life you got to know how to cheat the system. Cheat the system and beat the system. Don't let the system beat you. Um, but I'm going to throw my clothes on real quick so I can at least be dressed, y'all. So give me a second. <laughs> jacket it's my little brother jacket or i'm assuming it's his jacket i don't know i really don't know if this is a pajama set but <laughs> i'm gonna wear it anyway so how can i show y'all my little fitty fit 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 check fit check fit, fit. what's um what that girl be saying uh jazz no not jazz do Jazz be saying it or they K Hood be saying it? Be like, uh, fit check, some make you, make you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of it. I can't think of what she be saying, y'all. I don't know why I'm trying to make my bed look like some, y'all. I ain't even got pillows. I mean, pillow covers on, but. Okay, this the fit. Let me see if I can show y'all the Um, this is a Victoria's Secret, like, two-piece thing, and this jacket, I don't know where this jacket came from, I just seen it in the laundry room, and I know it's my brother's, and these shoes, yeah, these shoes belong to my auntie. I just jacked them, well, I jacked them from my mama, my, my mama jacked them from my auntie. But I jacked them from my mama because it go with the idea of what I'm trying to give. I don't like the fact that my socks are kind of showing though. Let me see. I could probably move y'all over here now. Great. Oh, yeah, no, okay. 
Like that. Oh, okay. But yeah, y'all, I gotta get a whole new phone stand and everything. I gotta get a new phone light. Not phone light. I gotta get a new ring light. I gotta get a new phone stand because somebody don't want to send me my stuff back. So I'm just gonna have to rebuy it. Well, I ain't gonna say somebody don't want to, but from the looks of it, somebody just don't want to send my stuff back. Whatever. I ain't gonna beg. I ain't gonna plead. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna rebuy it. I got all that stuff from Walmart anyway, so I have to re dye my ends with the little bit of dye that I had left. So I think it looks good. I'm trying to make sure this color don't transfer to this jacket. Cause this hair is still like damp. And I don't need my brother mad at me for getting red dye on his stuff. I honestly don't know who this belonged to. I just it's been it's been sitting in the washroom room. But yeah, y'all. I don't know. I'm should I throw on some lashes? I don't feel like I need any. Like I've been so natural lately, especially ever since uh I've been working. Like I've been so natural lately. Like I haven't no nails, no lashes. I haven't even been wearing wigs. I've been wearing my hair in plaits. Luckily I got some hair on my head, y'all, but I just been wearing my hair in plaits because I have to wear a hairnet. So when I wear my hair in a puff, it don't fit in the hairnet. I got so much freaking hair. <laughs> so, um, I've been braiding it up, wearing it like plaits instead of a two strand twist to uphold it more. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, my whole current rod just fell. Whatever. But, <laughs> um, I'm gonna fix that later. I don't even feel like fixing that right now. But, um, yeah um it is some more stuff i can update y'all on and tell y'all about i actually got a little story time i could tell y'all but i'm gonna say that for later um i'm gonna keep that comment to myself <laughs> i'm gonna keep that coming to myself but i don't know i don't know i'll be speaking my mind and people don't like that i be speaking my mind so yeah, 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 yeah. This is a real simple fit, though. I don't know. I don't really like the shirt. I ain't gonna cap to you because this just gives like this is not my style at all. But I'm gonna wear it because it's a fit. Like it's a fit, and it's actually pretty cute because the white fur with this is cute. But yeah, I don't really know. I keep looking at myself. Just wait till my real hair get this long, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna tell me nothing, okay? Y'all ain't gonna tell me nothing when I grow my real hair out to that length. Um. But it is raining outside today, y'all, which is very gloomy, especially considering I haven't been in the holiday spirits. But honestly, recording this video has made me feel a lot better. I don't know why. Like, I do feel a lot better after recording this video. I don't know if it's me recording this video or the fact that I actually did something with myself and made myself look like somebody because, I don't know, I like my puffball. I like my natural hair. But, I don't know. That's just not me. Like, I've always put on a wig. I've always, I always switch my look up. I always switch it up. Yeah. I've always been the girl to, like, switch it up and do something different with myself. Like, I've all, I'm always switching up my hair. I'm always doing my makeup. Like, it's a shocker that I'm not even doing no makeup today. But I did wax my eyebrows, though. So, they, my eyebrows at least look like something. But um yeah like those that know me know like hair gonna be done nails gonna be done lashes gonna be done makeup gonna be done to the t do you hear me but yeah i really just been feeling like out of my element a lot lately and i'm okay with that like it's making me love parts of myself that i forgot about or um it's made me see parts of myself that i didn't know was there 
I guess I can say that. But, um, yeah, I'm on this new journey. Back home, not for long, though. And I'm just excited to see where life takes me. I'm excited to see where God takes me. I'm excited to see what God has in store for me. Because I know it's something great. I know it's something great. Everything happens for a reason. And I have full faith in God that he's going to completely turn my life around and show me things that I didn't couldn't have even imagined for myself. And I'm just really excited for that. At first, I was really sad about it because, um, you know, I was moving from where I was at and I really didn't want to have to come back here, honestly. But, you know, that's just how the dice rolls and it is what it is. But yeah, I just got to go with it. I just got to go with it and everything is going to work out in the end, no matter what happens. Because if God is for me, who can be against me? You can you can be against me all you want, but no other form against me shall prosper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 for real though. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. This video is at like 37 minutes, even though I know I had walked away for at least five, 10 minutes, 10 minutes max, seven minutes max, I'll say. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of editing to do, especially since I'm talking. I'm going to have to do a lot of cutting. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank y'all so much for watching and listening to me ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays, even though I don't know when this is going to be posted. Hopefully, I'll have it posted by next week. I will have it posted by next week. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Come check out your girl, because why not? And I'll see you in another video. Bye.